Hey girls, how are you? Welcome to another Pilates session. This one is going to be a real quick one. It won't be any more than 20 minutes and it is a full body burn. So you can do this anywhere you want. You can do it before school or after school or even quickly at lunchtime. You can get this done. Um, you don't need any equipment. You just need a little bit of space, your mat, and make sure you've got a glass of water um, or a drink bottle and just make sure at any point if something doesn't feel quite right, you contact a teacher um, or guardian, okay? So let's get started. So everyone get on your mats and we're just going to start with a little bit of a warm up to begin. So first of all, going into, uh, an all, onto all fours, we want our fingers spread nice and wide. You want to roll those shoulders back and down, keeping the core nice and strong and you want a slight bend in the elbows. Now what this does is it just takes the pressure off those wrists. So if we've locked out really strong here, it puts a lot of pressure on the wrists. So we want to be just have a little slight bend and roll those shoulders back and down. It just puts the uh, pressure into the arms a little bit more. Okay, so let's just start with a few cat cows just to get the body moving. So inhale, we're going to tuck the tailbone under and just looking up to the sky. Exhale, rocking the body up, chin to chest, and inhale, articulating the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Tuck that tailbone under, rolling up. So starting with the chin, neck, upper back, lower back, right to the tail, and reverse. Tucking the tailbone, mid back, upper back, finishing with the chin. Let's just go for one more. Inhale and exhale. Nice work. All right, back to neutral spine here. Let's be nice and strong through the core and have that slight bend in the elbows. We're going to put all the pressure now into that left hand. We're going to have our hand on our right hand on our head and we're just going to twist open and close. Open and close. Now this is a really good stretch. After a full day at school and you've got a really tight upper back, this really will open you up. Because often what we do is we sit at school and we've got a bit of a hunch in the back. So other side now, putting pressure in the right hand, twisting up, back down. Twist, back to centre. Two. And one. Nice work. So roll those shoulders back. What we're going to do now here is bring a little bit more fire into the muscles. So we're going to have that soft bend in the elbows and we're going to tuck the, the toes underneath. So thinking about the core here, moving from the core and the toes, we're going to push up to hover, knees back down. So using the core, pushing up, lower down. Up and down. Exhale to lift, inhale to drop. Exhale and lower. Up and down for three, two, one, and now holding up here, we're just going to tap the shoulders from side to side for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, no moving, four, three, two, one, drop those knees down, okay, so now move forward a little bit and extend that right leg, and left leg. So tuck that tailbone under. We want to be one nice long line from head to toe. Okay, we're holding here and we're going to rock the body forward, rock the body back. At any point, if this is too much in the wrist, make sure you can go, you can go down to your elbows, but just reduce that range of motion. So we're using the core to rock the body forward and back. Let's go three more two more and one more we're going to be in this position for a little bit longer we're going to lift and lower lift and lower for eight seven six five four three two one now last move here we're just going to step to the right tap to the left 
tap, tap for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees to the floor, nice and wide. Push back into child's pose. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Just, just take the pressure out of those shoulders. Now sitting up, rolling up those wrists. Give those shoulders a little bit of a shake out. And now we're going to move into our lower body. Now just remember to have a drink whenever you need to. Just a sip. And then we'll move straight in. Okay. So now we're going to start on, or we'll move into this next phase, on our elbows. So shoulder is stacked on top of the elbow. And we're going to have our right knee bent. We're going to extend, sorry, our left knee bent. Extend the right leg back. And all we're going to do, point the toe, feel like you're trying to touch the wall behind you to really lengthen that leg, point your toe, and we're just going to tap down and lift. Tap and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, keep that core connection, three, two, and one, holding up here, we're pulsing for eight, double time, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend that knee now, and we're going to tap the knee down and squeeze the bum to lift, tap and lift for eight, point that toe, seven, six, Five, awesome work. Three, two, one. Now flex that foot at the top and we're pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You should feel five through those glutes now. And now extend that leg out, point the toe. And we're just going to push up now onto our left elbow. So stack that shoulder over top of the elbow. And we can keep our right hand here to stabilize. So take a deep breath in and really use that core. That is our central point to hold us all together. Okay, if we're stable through the core, we'll be stable through the whole body. Okay, tap that foot down and lift. Tap and lift. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold it up there. We're going to inhale to reach, exhale to bring the knee in. Inhale to reach, exhale. For eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg up there and we're just going to pulse for eight, seven, six. Point that toe. Five, four, three, two, one. And bend the knee slightly. Kick up, kick down. Kick up, kick down for eight, seven, Six, squeeze through the bum. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up here for five, four, three, two, one. And lower down nice and slow. Bring those knees wide, pushing back into child's pose. And while you sit there, I'm just going to gracefully move around to the other side so you can see me. And we're going to do the same thing all on the other side. So back down to those elbows. We're going to extend that leg behind. The left leg now. Okay, so nice and stable. We're going to tap the toe down and lift. Tap and lift for eight, seven, six. Nice work. Five, four. Three, two, squeeze the bum at the top, and one, holding up here, 
we're pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring that foot to 90 degrees and we're just going to tap the knee down and lift. Point that toe and lift for eight, seven, six, exhale to lift, five, four, three, two, and one, holding up there, extend the leg out and we'll push up now onto that right elbow. You know the drill, we're just going to tap and lift, squeeze the bum for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, holding up there, inhale to reach, exhale to bend and crunch, inhale, exhale, for eight, seven, you might feel this in that standing leg, five, four, put more pressure in that standing hand, three, two, one, hold it out there and we're pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you know the drill, we're kicking up, kicking down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up there, really extend and point the toe, five, four, three, two, one, and lower back down, those are the glutes, fired up for you, and we're done in that, in that space. All right, now we're going to roll over onto our back and we're going to finish with a little bit of a core burn. So have a quick drink and then we'll get into this core. So at any point, if you need a break with the core, just take a, a little break. Um, rest on your back if you need to and I'll show you how you can reduce that range of motion as well. Just to take a little bit more pressure off the core. Okay. So starting with our knees up, feet planted on the floor, and we're going to have our arms planted here on either side. We're going to take a deep breath in, reaching back, exhale, crunching up. Inhale to reach, exhale to crunch, and when we exhale, we feel like we're flattening the abs, okay? Inhale, exhale. For seven, six, five, four, nice work, three, tuck that chin in, two, and one, lower the body back down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place our fingertips inside our hip bones. Now what you'll feel there is a little spongy pad, we're going to inhale, and then exhale, lift our legs up into tabletop. You should feel that little pad in between your hip bones engage now. So that is your lower core activating. All right, so we're gonna bring the, the ankles together and we're gonna leg press the legs in, extend them out. So knees, ankles, all together. Bring them out and extend. Inhale, exhale to extend for eight, seven, six. Now, if this is all of it too much, you don't have to extend the legs out too much. Just bring it in, bring it out. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Extend the legs out, open, and we're going to crisscross from side to side. Feel the activation on the fingertips. Eight, seven, six, remember to breathe. Four, three, two, one. And I'm just gonna hug one knee and we're gonna switch. 
and switch. So curling up here where chin is to chest and we're in a little bit of a crunch. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug both knees, lying down flat. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and just rock those knees from side to side. All right, we're not quite done yet. Now you can either have your legs at tabletop or you can extend them out. You pick, or you can even go halfway in between. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift the bum off the ground using the lower core for eight, seven, six, just as a small movement, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees. Getting ready for our last exercise here. We're gonna inhale to reach, circle the arms round, exhale to tuck. Inhale to reach, exhale to tuck. For eight, seven, this is the finale, six, five, four, good work, three, two, and one, reach in lower, nice work, take a deep breath in, and deep breath out, hug one knee in, so starting with your right knee, we'll just move into a little bit of a stretch now to close out this workout, bring it open, so open up that hip to the side, bring it over to the other side, into a light twist, back to centre, other side, so squeezing it in, opening up that hip, bringing it across to the other side, back to centre, light squeeze, And now rolling down, or letting that leg go, and rolling over onto our stomachs. We're just going to do a light back bend here, stretch out those abs that we just worked, looking to the left, looking to the right. Let's just go each side one more, look, and look. Nice work. Back to centre, pushing up, knees wide and toes together into that child's pose. All right, so we're just gonna do a little bit of what we started with. So first, um, hand to head, we're just gonna open up, actually we'll extend the arm out, thread the hand under. So we're stretching out the mid upper back here, getting into the shoulders, breathing through. and unthread. Let's just do the other side. So reaching up, threading through. Nice work. Breathing into it. Alrighty, and just to finish, what we'll do is we'll wedge those legs to the side, reaching over to the other side reach like a mermaid and other side so flick those legs round reach side to side getting a nice side body stretch and that is us done i hope you enjoyed that girls you can do that anytime nice and quick only 20 minutes long i hope you enjoyed it we worked the glutes we worked the arms and the core. It's a full body workout. Have a good day wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, and I'll catch you for our next Pilates workout next time. See you later.